let's go check out the Tallahassee Museum. Let's go check it out and have fun. So we're gonna look at the map. We are here at the main entrance. So we're gonna go over here to number two, which is the Seaboard Airline Caboose. They didn't have all this in front of this train either. I don't remember. I got two. All kind of literature. We're not going to read all that today. <laughs> to tell you about the train. We got a train video where we went to Georgia. To a bunch of trains. Well, hi, ma'am. Where are you going today? Looking for me and man. <laughs> Remember last time we couldn't come in here? Yeah. I guess that's the sink. Water holding tanks. See the old spigot. And right here, it's a freezer. Old fashioned icebox. Look at that. A refrigerator. Over here, some canned goods with no calendar. January 1943. Oh, wow. Some meals and things that would have been served. Hey, it's got a cool box. Where? Okay. Take a picture of me. Hang on. Look. Give me a minute. Sit up top there. See the views. I guess this would have been the sleeping quarters. Missionary Church. Mr. Tyler already headed into the schoolhouse. Let's go check it out. Let's get a couple outside views first. Windows down each side. Ready to see the old wood stove, and chalkboard. Most kids don't even know what a chalkboard is today. Sort of in the teacher's desk. Look at the student's desk. in early Florida. Now we're going to head over to the old church. See a bell from outside. It's all much like the building. You can see the piers it's sitting on. Probably most of these back then sit on the log piers. Availability of money. There's like a couple headstones out behind that. We'll check that out next. Stained glass on the front of it. 
see the chimney there. There's all kind of literature in these buildings that tell you about them. Let's check out the instruments first. Tennessee. Yeah. Devil Church in Tennessee. We are gathered here today and I can see in our audience we have at least one member that's in danger of the hell fire. Today, so we won't hear what it says. We're going to slip out back and go look at these graves we've seen. We'll eat them back here. See what these little headstones were. So, little headstones here. We're here at number four, which is the Bethlehem Missionary Church. Next, we're going to find our way over here to number five, which is the Bellevue Plantation House. We come around the church past the little cemetery. Walk down a little trail over here. Lots of signage on the trail. Check out this plantation house. Check out this house. Maybe we can go inside. Oh yeah, the doors are open. The doors are open. Can't remember. Plenty of signage here for you to see while you're walking around. I like that they got all this stuff to tell you about it. About people who live here. This would have been the parlor, it says. Cotton Kingdom. This is something we don't see a lot of at these old homes. It's on display. Usually you can't go up the stairs. Get a little pan before we get too far up there. 
for him to break in the staircase. Would have been the top floor, the bed area. They got a cool little display showing you how the beds were put together and made. There's fireplace. Weaving loom. See what kind of view we get. I'm coming, mother. Said back downstairs, look at the rest of that. These old houses have the kitchen sitting all separate from it. As per the time here, the kitchens were built separate. You see the bell there to call the workers and the people to dinner. This was really common in that area, the detached kitchens. See the big fireplace, cooking utensil. Wooden bowl. Coming up the other side of the kitchen now, it just gives you another angle. So we're here at the plantation house. We're gonna walk over and look at one more outbuilding. And then we're going to backtrack. Got a big old sinkhole there behind. This is probably a slave cabin. That's up to you. would have been the typical slave cabin on this plantation. The bare minimum. And notice how it has a dirt floor. Crude furniture. Just a crude bed on the floor. One window. There's the chimney. Along the way, I passed this old sinkhole again. Can't help but wonder what would be down there if I could run my old metal detector. So we basically circled back around. They do have overhead bolts and zip lines. Won't be highlighting that today. I couldn't get Miss Traveler to suit up. Yep, this is the snake encounter. We need to look at it too. Oh my. Let's see what we're looking at. A gray rat snake. He's kind of hiding there. There's two of them in there, I see. Florida 
Into his face. Eastern indigo. Also known as the blue gopher. Where's this like it? Laying right by the glass, right on the front. There's two of them. Oh, right there? Yeah. And not only do these signs tell you what they are, they tell you about their habitat, their diet, their life plan, breeding, banded water snakes. See two of them in there. It's a pine snake. They're down on the bottom. See the sun? Right Often mistook for a moccasin. And there's the old bad boy. Diamond back rattlesnake. And he is a bad one. Definitely don't tease them in the wild. Let's see if we can get a view of this rattle. Really? Is that the one they call coach whips? The chaser? And here's another bad one. Florida cottonmouth. What a moccasin. You can't see his face. I can see his head, but I can't see his face. Well, I made his head. The guest animal habitat. Where we headed now? Over here across from what looked like a cool little butterfly going. Several different animals in here. Dingo. You tell he's hot, can't you? See the zip line set up they have kids who love that. And they do have this nature trail too. We're gonna walk over here. This is a tunnel going through an Avery. See how big that Avery is? Well. Two of them there. Ain't none of this got water in it today. So birds of prey, what sign at the beginning said. There's something in there, but we can't see it real good. It's a turkey vulture. There's a turkey vulture, but he's laying oh, down. Like chicken. Yeah, I was like a chicken. Them damn mouths would eat him. The eagle. Over here on the other side, Miss Traveler has spotted an eagle. Just sitting up there minding his own business. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Two more up there. Forward flight simulator. Oh my. Really? You got to keep your hand on the ball. I am. You ain't. It's 
Let me see if he could do it. Let me show you what she was doing. We were skipping. She'd have fell out of the sky. Smart ass. And that is the proper way. I've seen that on a guy's YouTube channel. Mr. Perfect's who he needs to be. Who's your dad? He got some Eastern Screech out. I didn't know him. I didn't know him. Lean neck duck. Let's see. Well, the ducks are pretty easy to find. Let's see them. One swimming. There's a fountain flowing over there. Kind of hard to get it to focus with this wire, but I'm looking so, for the owl. There's a baby owl there. There's two in that tree right there. There's one right there. You got them good eagle eyes, ain't you? Oh, I see the one in the tree now that you pointed it there's out. Two of them. Kind of hard to see him on camera. It's a dark spot I can't get him. right there, but it's just too dark for the camera on this phone to pick it up. Wild turkey, white-tailed deer. Well, that would be an interesting walk. You step on them and walk across the platform. Go south or swamp out there. which also, interesting enough, your zip line runs all through here. That'd be cool on a zip line. Look at the deer. With those hoppers pond in the backdrop. I can hear the turkey. Up here, watch Yep. That's old turkey. I ain't never seen one that color. Old turkey done hid from us. Let's look back over here just a minute. We got another deer that showed up. So we now have two deer. Shot on this turkey trying to hide from him. He's taking a nap. Yeah, he's, he's See another turkey way across there. Right in the center of your screen. Third deer. Deer number three hiding in the palmetto. Right there in the palmetto. Oh, he's gonna lay down and hide. This traveler has spotted another turkey. Let's see if we see him. Oh, yeah. See him over there? He's hiding over there. Which one? There's one right there. There's one over there under them palmettas. I don't see him. Oh, over there? Right there. Yep. Laid up in the shade, ain't he? This one's getting some sun. Yeah. Only thing is, it seems like when we come to these early, nothing's moving out. I know. This is a beautiful boardwalk. 
further out. This would be awesome to zip line across. Got us another turkey. There's one right there. Yep. They're getting out the sun. What are they doing? Hunting for the North American otter. There he is, right there. Yep, laid up, ain't he? It's just kind of hiding. Ain't no way to really get a good shot of you. Anyhow, he's got a nice little habitat. The red wolf exhibit. A lot of boardwalks here. Make it nice, you're elevated above the animal. We're looking for the wolf. He is hiding down there in the corner. He's had enough for today, I guess. Now we're gonna walk. The boardwalk through the bobcat exhibit. See if we can see the old bobcat. There he is. It's a little difficult to see, he kind of blends in. He's in the center of the screen. They say she sees a nose. So let's get a different angle here. Here's the same one from a different angle. You can see him a little better there. If we look behind him in the tree, it's hard to see him because the light ain't good. But right there is another one resting. Definitely want to look in the trees in these exhibits. Bobcats are known for being there. So always look up. A little different angle on the one in the tree. Lay, or not in the tree, but laying next to it. Florida panther and cougar. I see one up there snoozing. Kind of shaded. I'm going to try to zoom in. I don't know how well you can see him. He's laying up there taking a nap. I'm not sure. Pink panthers black? No, they're not all panthers are black. Black panthers are rare. Don't see any more. We're still in the panther exhibit. I used to walk all the way, at least taking one. Striped skunk and foxes. I personally can't see one, but the guy beside me says. Yeah, you see his ear. Come here. That is one. From this angle, Miss Traveler pointed him out, and I can see him better. Here we are on another angle. I ain't never known I'm sleeping for you. He's just napping up there. We're easing down the boardwalk. You can see the magnificent cypress trees, lake out behind them. Heading through another part of a boardwalk over a swamp. I love these magnificent cypress. 
think this is the Florida black bear habitat. Let's see if we can see. First, let's take a look over here. Super cool. We're looking for the bear. Oh, Miss Traveler says she sees him. Yeah, we walked right by him, didn't we? Taking him a nap. This next boy walk we're gonna walk is extremely popular with children. You go out through the swamp and they've recreated dinosaur out of junk, truck parts, car parts, all kinds of stuff. Here you got to be looking as you're walking because they're kind of just staged out through the woods. A lot of magnificent cypress here. Camera don't do them justice, but some of these things at the base are just monstrous. Here comes our first one. Recreation of an aquatic dinosaur. Let's see if we can tell what some of it is made out of. The ridges on the backbone almost look like bearing casings. His front legs are off the front end of the car. I believe it's like an A arm. Or I'm not familiar with all the terms. Anyhow, you can see it's just junk. His head, for you car enthusiasts to know right off, that's an oil pan. You can see the plug on the top in the center of his head. Super cool. Here's a sign that tells you about the creation of these. Internationally noted sculptor, Jim Gary salvaged auto parts from junkyards to create the prehistoric creatures along this trail. Through his skill, discarded vehicles from the 50s, 60s, and 70s gained new life as vividly, as vividly colored dinosaurs that evoke both movement and personality. Pretty neat tells you about the fella, 1939 to 2006. 